Hello and we're back in Life is Strange episode 5 Polarized Hunting down extras before we move on I think really it's the two photos I'm worried about Think about all those children out there. Mystery solved, but nobody gets a reward. I'm returning your tablet that I basically stole from you. I saw it laying there with all those cat pics, and I just took it. I'm sorry for putting you through all this bullshit. I've been going through a lot myself the past year, and I was jealous that you had all those cats. Nobody likes me here, so I thought it would be funny to take your tablet. Things like this are why nobody likes me here. I wasn't sure if I could face you, so I wrote this note just in case. Either way, here's your tablet back. I hope I haven't caused you too much stress, and I hope you know how lucky you are to have so many cool cats in your life. I am clearly not one. Sorry. Hmm. Even the cat pick stealer is sorry. Bodies. Stops looking. Can we go back in time and save him? I, I don't think so. I think it would have told me if I could. Okay. Is this a whale? That is That's a whale. Intense. That's what I was standing before. You think it's bad when it's raining cats and dogs? I'm going through this. That's how you get through, yeah. Dare we hmm. risk missing a photo? I'm thinking, I don't think I'm going to be looking at that in the distance. Actually, hang on. Yeah? Isn't there that car up there? Oh, yeah. Is there a vantage point? Is it when you were saving a lesser or? No, I wouldn't have been able to see it from over there. In which case, it's either a funny angle or it's not the, the thing you're supposed to take a photo of. It just looks like it. Or well, maybe I'm supposed to be on the other side. I think I'm just going to go through this building. There is that. Through. I think missing a photo isn't going to be like the end of the world anyway. Yeah. This is the end of the world. <laughs> missing the photos isn't. How can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Great right nowhere, northwest. Oh, this makes me so sad. Softball game. Not that way. There's a guy in there. Oh god. He's dead. Whoops. Electrocuted. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Don't kill him with electricity, though. Oh, you've got to kill him. I just need to And then go into the room and then rewind time. Activate the sprinkler. Right, right, yeah. Because that wouldn't freak you the fuck out. What, a woman just appears in front of you and goes, Hi! I can't die in this room. I can't. Come on! You have to get out of here right now! I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. No more storms. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I was expecting something else to happen with you. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was still cutscening. You should get out of here. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. We should really turn this fuse box back off, you know. No, no, it's there to keep the fire away. 
So we're at Schutz Look at this die. It's just to give us some time pressure. It really does, yes. Unless I want to look around. See if that homeless woman's still there for a start. Oh. Is that her? Yeah, she's been crushed. Wow. I would stop giving me such a small amount of time. Yeah, same as for the whale on fire one, it's going to be that whale with the fire behind it or the sign. Come on, Matthew. There's a whale right here. Be an angle thing. All oh, right, is that what's happening? Why don't I just stop? Maybe if we stop the fire, we can spend more time looking at the photos, though. Hopefully, okay. There's a thing just to your right. Yeah, so... Please let this thing be on the fire. Yes! Right. Wait, that should give us a bit more time. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's smiling and taking a photo in the middle of the end of the world! moment for photography now. This tornado might be the end of the world. But not if I can change it. What angle are we sort of looking at that from? I'm not sure the picture's gonna match up particularly much, but yes it might be further that way we go. I don't know. Just grinning away, taking pictures. Gotta get them photos. Puts it in a butt. That's her bag that's on her butt, I suppose. Chloe Price forever. I think that's going to be within the, um, the, the diner. diner. Yeah, let's get in here then. Possibly in the toilet. Ooh. I think that was a prompt inside that I wasn't supposed to show you. Yeah, that was a bit weird. You can freeze frame and look at it later. <laughs> Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning. At least nobody's going to starve in here. I don't think that's what they're worried about. system is now in effect. Go get him, Julia. Arcadia Bay Bacon. Blackwell Bullying by Juliet Watson. As a student at Blackwell Academy, I'm torn in writing this essay. I love my school and the education it has provided, but at the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwell has a problem, it's not with any glee or agenda. In fact, this problem reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school, and they are us. Look, there's a photo you can jump into. Yeah. <sighs> Lissai. Something right. Looks really weird. It's broken, sort of all bit. Yeah. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am 
so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hold so on. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Look at the tables and the toilet, I think. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna no, look no, at I'm everything. Sorry. No more music. We will get out of this, okay? It's hard to believe people were eating breakfast here. Only a few hours ago. The monsters. A reminisce, really? Okay. To do nothing. This is where I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. So, what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up? No, because I didn't ask for this gift. But I, I was able to stop Mark Jefferson. And now, I, I can stop Chloe from dying. For the last time. Arise. Maybe the pint, considering it keeps not going right, is that there is no quick fix to your problems. You have to fix them yourself. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. Just a cute dog. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Look at Warren. Always trying to help. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. That's the lottery guy. Joyce has got mm. everybody's back. Even Frank's. It's good to have Frank on our team. Not seeing any Jesus. Chloe thing, so maybe when we go past these people after this encounter. Perhaps, yes. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to everyone but Warren first, I think. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and... Give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Dead. I mean, I'll find her? I'll find her. That's I... what we're doing. I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are hold up some. David is. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you would have this torn on your own. Oh, dear. Oh, did we? I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. Oh, oh do we? An adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. Perfect storm. Why would you say that? This is, seems to be the sorry episode, so perhaps I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. 
to all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? That's your choice. David saved my life from the storm. He means well, even if he doesn't know how to show it. I was right. Okay. This has to be your choice. I'm glad David was there for you, but I don't always like his attitude. Honestly, I don't think I can forgive him for hitting Chloe. If it happens once, it could happen again. I... I understand. I'm used to my life being hard. Chloe had to find out way too early. And I, I don't think we need David around to keep reminding us. You're right, Max. I think I'm making my choice now. There we go, that was Joyce's heartfelt encounter. Please be okay, Chloe. Oh. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh. I think he already knew she was dead anyway. Rachel is dead. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! Yeah, you saw. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he, he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? This is going for the whole, do we get him to feel like it's his fault or not thing. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. It's an interesting conversation, because, yeah, to, a, to a certain extent, the people who sell drugs are enabling for everyone else to ruin their lives with them. Yes, I have to admit, not a massive amount of sympathy. If you sell drugs to people that can kill them and someone dies, mm. Yeah, yeah. 
party is over. This vortex is much bigger. That's yeah. huge. That's yeah. all right. And finally. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa, is that all? Ah, I started the storm. Oh, that prediction I made so many moons ago in the first mm. episode where I went, wouldn't it be hilarious if you started the storm that you tried to prevent with your powers? Well, it did lay down pretty thick, you know, the, the vortex club and all the Okay, it wasn't stuff clever or prescient at all. It was fine. clever and prescient, but <laughs> the further we went on, there were clues and, like, the end of the world party and... But it's very cool. You were very prescient. You pressed all the ints. True. So, hmm. I think he might be interested in the left one more, because we're talking about, like, science and magic type stuff. I guess. I, I think that the storm started, everything started, when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max! Not only the storm. Hang on, didn't the storm happen before you first rewound time? You had the vision of it before you first rewound time. Because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction, even in the environment. I do like the way he just believes you, actually. That's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any need to belabor the point, though. So, more time together, or this is my fault? I think more time together would give extremely mixed messages at this late stage in the game. I would say, this is my fault. Yeah. All this destruction is my fault. Hell. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if Good it's point. magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but... After this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. 
Always. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Focus on the photo? <laughs> Let's do this. Hey. Be careful out there. A hug isn't sexy, so it's probably fine. Okay. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. It's probably like full on boinking if you have a relationship with them. Maybe. I also think I know what to do with the photos and we've been using photos that always have us in them, haven't we? Jesus. This is not where I want to die. Possibly, the very yes. first one was us and Chloe as 14 year olds. Okay. And then is so that why we can't just use any photo? Yeah, then? I think that's what it's getting at. Because this is us again. But yes, let's focus. Glad you figured out the focus existed. <laughs> yes. I guess I don't think it's because I never did play the Batman game. <clears throat> well, not just the Batman games, it was in a couple of others as well. For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, me we're in. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? This isn't a believable conversation. Chloe knows that you have the ability to change yeah. time and would believe you. Secondly, if I was Chloe Chu and then, like, Max Chan came out and sort of went, Oh, I'm going to hug you now, inexplicably, and go, Oh god, thank god you're yeah. safe. I'll go, I'm about to die, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, I get that she's doing the whole she's angry because Rachel was dead and she hasn't been a fantastic friend, but yeah. I'm not sure I'll buy this. This mm, isn't very mm, nice. Mm. But I'm going to go with Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. I'm not convinced you should be going to all this effort to convince someone who won't believe you. Warren believed you. Yeah, he believes us straight. Maybe we should have been having all of these hijinks and adventures with Warren and not Chloe. Mm -hmm. Should I try too dangerous or the other options within Nathan is dead? Yes. So the first one. Well, either. <laughs> Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. 
I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! Well, that went well. Man, she just won't listen. Punch her. Excuse me. Nathan is... That fucker is... Our... Because... Will you please... Jefferson is a psychopath. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Hmm. Let the past go is a crap option. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? So I'm thinking, <laughs> your, friend, <Nothing. laughs> your friendship with Chloe is a very conditional and doesn't seem worth it. Hmm. Um. God, this would be a, a really great place to have a cliffhanger, wouldn't it? <laughs> 